Hi! Welcome to the first Fallout Miami monthly update video. I'm Maya. I'll be presenting these progress updates every month right here on our YouTube channel. Before we get to the new content, we just want to say a big thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You guys watched our trailer more than 5 million times. It honestly left us a little speechless. We couldn't be more grateful for all the interest and love you've shown for our project. It's given us a lot of motivation, and we'll do our absolute best to live up to the promise and deliver on the potential of a post-nuclear vacation wasteland. Speaking of the trailer, a bunch of you really latched onto the stinger after the title card, so we're going to shine some light on that. We won't be taking a deep dive just yet, but this month, we're talking about the Enclave. When adding a faction with such a well-defined aesthetic, it's important that you have the proper set dressing. You'll see a couple of these assets while we're talking a bit about what the Enclave are doing in the sunny south. The barricade was made by Torque Digital, and the rest by Coolest Guy. As you may have heard, Fallout Miami is a new adventure for the Soul Survivor, which means it takes place in late 2287, a full decade after the Battle of Raven Rock. That's important, but we'll have to take a few steps back if we want to find out how they got to Miami. A couple of years before the destruction of Raven Rock, the Enclave dispatched a team to Miami Beach. Their objective? Recover a pre-war military installation with vast computational power and establish a permanent Enclave presence in the region. Although this detachment wasn't particularly numerous, it was certainly diverse. Everything from high-ranking officers to cadets and civilians. After Raven Rock fell, this somewhat under-equipped base was left isolated, unable to contact any other Enclave remnants. It's been 10 years since then, but we'll leave that juicy lore for another time. And here are some work-in-progress shots of a versatile armored vehicle you can expect to see at various locations. Power armor is all fine and good, but sometimes you need to fight wheels with wheels. We'll talk more about it in the future. Modeled by Matt. No, you won't get to drive it. Yeah, we're bummed out too. It's Fallout. Drivable vehicles just don't work too well in this engine. Time for something a little more personal. Let's talk characters. And who better to start with than the current CO, Colonel Magnus, concept art by QC. The burden of command is a heavy one, even for an experienced officer. The rock-solid image of the dependable commander is just as often a facade as it is a foundation. In the case of Colonel Magnus, it's a little bit of both. Driven, loyal to the cause, able, and stretched thin as a rail, he does everything he can to keep his ship on course. The responsibilities are many, the quiet moments, few. And he has to somehow find time not only to lead his people, but to also be a father. Getting some sleep wouldn't be bad either. Seeing as the Enclave are a main joinable faction in Fallout Miami, it makes sense for there to be a companion. Let me introduce you to Captain Killian Beckett, concept art by Cynical Bounds. So, what happens when a man loses everything except his mission? Family, loved ones, certainty in what tomorrow will bring? He has a choice. Lose himself in his purpose, or hold on to the hope of a brighter future and just work toward it. Captain Beckett took the latter path. A model soldier and citizen in many ways, Killian just tries to do his job as best he can. Although he might not always agree with his orders or the way the Enclave aimed to achieve their ultimate goal, he remains loyal and believes in the dream of rebuilding the United States of America. He doesn't let the bitterness and doubts get to him. A cold beer, someone to talk to, and clear objectives are all he needs. Before we say goodbye for August, a quick thank you to the community for contributing translated subtitles for our trailer, which is now available in Czech, French, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, and Russian. Thanks, guys! As always, if you think you've got what it takes to help us make Fallout Miami a reality, send us your application. Link in the description. See you next month!